Hey guys, it's Javi with Loan for Thought. Today we're going to be talking about why cutting the cord was one of the most impactful cost cutting things I've done. It's been a, nothing but a tremendous benefit and it saved me so much relief. So I think what would help is some backstory and some history on why I actually made this video. I actually have always had cable, have always been into sports, loved pay-per-view, loved all those channels. Uh, especially the premium channels, HBO, Game of Thrones, Homeland on Showtime, etc. But now with the technology that's out there, Netflix, and, and obviously as work progresses and doing the different ventures that I have, uh, for example, here with Loan for Thought, I really don't have as much time as I used to, you know, being able to sit down and just binge watch a show. I can't do that. My taste and my time has changed since prior to making the change was spending over $230 a month. Yeah, $230 a month. And that was just on cable and internet. I did have a couple boxes and the taxes were outrageous. And when you get the bill, you just see all these little small itemized things that come up on there. So I started looking around, did some homework, and eventually this actually became a huge passion of mine. And I tell all my friends and obviously now the world on cord cutting is like the best thing that you could do. Or it's definitely one of those big things that you could make a real impact to your bottom line. Ultimately, I'm going to take you through the steps that I took. So the first thing I did was looked into PlayStation View. This is an interesting service. Their pricing is a little odd just because you have to look and there's tiers to it. And I figured it would make sense because I have a PlayStation 4 and I again, I never play it, but I thought it'd be a smooth transition. It's kind of like the iPhone and iTunes and all, I everything. Their packages start off at $39. You can go up to the $45 package and then they have an elite package for $55. When I looked at it, it was you get basic, a little bit more channels, uh, focus around sports, ESPNU, SAC Network. The $55, which is the Elite, has general cable. From there, I looked into YouTube TV. That was the big shiny sticker, easy to sign up, answered all the questions that I had about what channels am I going to get? What What's the cost? What's the benefit, etc. Really simple. $40 a month, you get an unlimited cloud-based DVR. So you don't have to fight with other folks that have access. They could record multiple shows at the same time without any issues. They allow up to five users. There's no taxes. There's nothing extra. But then I learned about Sling TV. Sling TV has two tiers. They have a $25 tier and then a $40 tier. The $40 tier has things like ESPNU, Epix, NFL Network. There's no contract involved. So if you're really trying to get basic cable, local news, some ESPN, you don't really care about Epix or the extensive ESPN for portfolio, I would definitely recommend Sling. So after I narrowed it down to these three options, I didn't even consider a uh, digital antenna just because I didn't want to get the local networks and I wanted something more sustainable with a DVR and things like that. I searched and looked around who would give me the cheapest, fastest internet. I don't want to deal with a contract. I don't want to deal with a promo. Who has the best? So I stumbled across, I can't really say their name, obviously. My current situation is as such. So I pay $34.99 for high speed internet. It's 50 down, 50 up. It's fiber optic and I decided to go with Sling TV and I went with the $40 package. So I combined both and my total cost is $74.99. There's no taxes, there's no boxes, there's no other random equipment, there's no gateways, I can use my own router. It was set up perfectly exactly how I wanted. I could set up a budget. I know that this is the price that I'm gonna pay. It's not gonna go up in cost. And I have the freedom to watch wherever I want with as many devices as I want. So that was a savings of over $155 a month. $155 a month. That's over $1,860 a year. Because I'm a math whiz and I love the idea of compounding interest and saving for a rainy day and when you actually need it, 
if you invested that same $155 a month for 10 years at a 6% return, you would have over $25,528. Now, here's where it gets really interesting. Because you, you're not going to stop watching cable and using the internet. You're, it's so, let's just put it on a 30-year trajectory. At a 6% compounded interest rate, you would have over $156,478. Just by cutting the cord. The savings are tremendous. And it's all about the small changes with the big results. It's all about altering your lifestyle to maximize on your profitability and productivity. So if you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave a comment below. I will leave a link to Sling TV, YouTube TV, and PlayStation View for you guys to check out if you're interested in going with them. Like I said, I went with Sling TV and my package saved me hundreds of dollars a month. Thanks for watching. I'm Javi with Loan for Thought and stay tuned for the next video.